Grace and peace to you for the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, today we're going to go to Psalms 71. And it reads, In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never put be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge to which I may continually come. You have given the command to save me for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel man. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have learned from before my birth. You are he who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have been as a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength is spent. For my enemies speak concerning me. Those who watch for my life consult together and say, God has forsaken him. Pursue and seize him. For there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. O my God, make haste to help me. May my accusers be put to shame and consumed with scorn and disgrace. May they be covered who seeks, seek my hurt, but I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. My mouth will let tell of your righteous acts and your deeds of salvation all day long, all day, sorry, for their number is past my knowledge with the mighty deeds of the Lord God, I will come. I will remain them. I will remind them of your righteousness, your yours alone. O oh God, from my uh, from my youth, you have taught me, and I still proclaim your wondrous deeds. So even to the old age and gray hairs, O oh God, do not forsake me until I proclaim your might to another generation, your power to all those to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches the highest heavens. You have done great things, O God, who is like you. You who have made me see many troubles and calamities will revive me again, revive me again from the depths of the earth. You will bring me up again. You will increase my greatness and comfort me again. I will also praise you with the harp, harp for your faithfulness, O oh God. Oh my God, I will sing praise to you with the lyre. O oh, Holy One of Israel, my lips will shout for joy. When I sing praise to you, my soul also, which you have redeemed, 
and my tongue will take of your righteous help all the day long for they have been put to shame and disappointed who sight to do me hurt now let's consider on this chapter because I really am concentrating on this on this verse in this verse you know um, this verse chapter I mean verse 6 upon you I have learned leaned for before my birth you are you are he who took me from my mother's womb my praise is continually of you so for me that is kind of like he formed them before like he's like saying that he was chosen god chose him to praise him i totally believe a predestination i do believe that pre uh pre-selection that god is doing all that stuff because he chose him and i totally agree of that kind of theology because that's everywhere in this bible that god has chosen you has chosen us it's pre-selected god has known us since the beginning of time god has known us since since he made us since he put our spirit our bodies inside of our mother's womb god has already ordained this god knows when we're going to perish god knows when we're going to become his followers god knows everything there's nothing as as other different kind of methods that god knows the time and the day when we pass on our days are numbered ladies and gentlemen but God has a purpose to you, for you. If the Holy Spirit is inside of you. If the Holy Spirit is guiding you to do good things. In walking in Jesus Christ. Always remember Jesus Christ is our Lord of Lords, King of Kings. And we have to, have to do our King's work. For his glory. Amen. If you have any other questions or prayer requests, please leave them down below. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us and to give us grace, mercy, and love. Amen. Hallelujah. Maranatha. <laughs>